They say the best things in life are open source. We have the best free and open source 3D program, the best free and open source ray tracing engine, and a physically based render engine free as well. So why don't we have free 3D models too? We do have Blender Swap where you can swap your 3D models for other free 3D models, but they are always known as detailed as you want them to be. And there is 3dhaven.com. They have realistic and PBR based models, most of which are 3D scan. Okay, I don't have anything to complain about here. I just want to make a cool transition to this amazing site that has free 3D scanned models you can download for your personal use. So allow me to introduce you to Smith Sonia, a 3D library of digitized real world objects. So if you go to this site, you will see that uh, they have a lot of uh, 3D models with uh, PBR textures. Uh, for example, uh, you can see some of their collections here. You have some clothes, some coral collection, and uh, I have some spaceships and some clothes and uh, a lot of other collections to choose from. And uh, each collection contains a lot of different assets, all of which you can import in Blender uh, for personal use. So, and uh, the great thing about this, uh, they also have a web-based 3D uh, viewport uh, where you can visualize and see uh, the different models you want to download before you even download them. So you can see, you can check out the detail before you even download an uh, asset if you want to. So you can even maximize uh, the viewport and to just really appreciate uh, the amount of detail uh, that goes into this. If you navigate to their settings, you can check out the front, back, even have a material mode here. Just preview uh, the clay version of the model. So this is Neil, Neil Armstrong's suit. I think the 3D scanned it and I now can download it and I use it for your personal use. You can see the X-ray version and normal version just to see the normal details of uh, the model and uh, if you're not convinced yet you can even look at uh, the wireframe so this is a very very highly detailed model you can see how much of the pol how many polygons that this model has the great thing is that uh, they have different versions of this they have different levels of details for this so you don't have to download uh, the high detailed version if, you if you're not going to use it you can even slice the model maybe if you're trying to 3d print this you can uh, slice the model to see how it would print it's going to turn that on can see how it would print using a printer we using a 3d printer and uh, also have a lot of more as I said uh, you don't have to download the high detailed version uh, if you click on the download link you will see a list of different uh, formats and a different level of detail so you can see you have a medium a resolution uh, in uh, FBX format and I also have this full resolution in OBJ uh, format so uh, there are quite a lot of different versions you if you want depending on what you're trying to go for so I'm going to download this so that we can see how it looks in Blender because I think it has a lot of nice folds and the textures look quite uh, nice so and depending on what version you import uh, for example if you go here uh, you, you can see we have a low polygon GLTF and uh, you also have a uh, GLB. Uh, so these two versions can be imported using Blender uh, import uh, this GLB or GLTF uh, format. Uh, so if you click on that, you can import that and uh, they will come, the materials will already be set up so you don't have to worry about that. And uh, it comes with all the textures uh, set up for you so you can appreciate uh, the level of detail uh, that you're getting. As you can see, now let's set up some quick lights here. I'm just going to add an area light here. Just uh, turn on some lights. Give it a, a nice color, warm color there. Duplicate this. Bring it around here. Give it a nice. Which color I'm just going to reduce the size just so we can see the, diff the details easily. It's going to have a backlight here. Like that. Just 
to cut that detail. If you import a model from, say, Make Human, just try that. Yeah, so if you have a model from Make Human, you can just use that and uh, make a fit into the clothes. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Links will be in the description.